The mental health charity Mind has found that around a third of adults and young people felt that their mental health got much worse during the pandemic. And Boots saw more people coming into its pharmacies asking for mental health support during lockdowns, especially men. In response, the health and beauty retailer has introduced new specialist services for patients online and its pharmacists continue to offer vital help on the high street. Boots has been a staple of our high streets for decades, priding itself on supporting us with our health care needs. But Boots say they are mindful of an increase in demand for mental health help and has introduced a new collection of online mental health services in response. The support that can now be found at Boots.com includes talking therapy and access to prescription medicines for those that need it. One of these new services is the Boots Online Doctor Depression and Anxiety Service. During the pandemic, we did a bit of research with our patients uh, about how they access support. And many people uh, now believe that actually uh, seeking healthcare advice and support online is important. About 88% of people that we found would uh, access healthcare online and continue to access healthcare online post the pandemic. And when it comes to mental health in particular, about three quarters of the people that we spoke to said that actually they would prefer to talk to a doctor uh, online. Whilst the service is for everyone, Boots is encouraging more men to come forward. We know that, that men struggle with their mental health just as much as, as, as women do, but they struggle with accessing that mental health. There are certain sort of personal barriers very often for men in, in, in seeking help with these things. So this service just provides uh, an alternative avenue for men to seek support for their mental health, uh, an avenue that might suit them a bit better, might provide them with some flexibility around their working hours, uh, might provide them with some, I, I hesitate to use the word anonymity, but some perhaps a little bit more privacy uh, on their part that they might feel more comfortable to disclose their, their, their problems with the clinician. And the online team continue to keep in contact with patients even after appointments. The structure of the relationship would be that following that first initial consultation, uh, the doctor then will reach out to the patient at uh, regular intervals to check in, uh, make sure that progress is being made and things are going in the right direction. The relationship is that the, the, the patient can contact us uh, whenever they feel they need some support. Boots pharmacists continue to be on hand to provide advice and support as a first port of call for healthcare, and that includes mental health. So it's important that we can provide the right services for those men who come to us and perhaps are impacted by diabetes or cancer or anything else that is happening in their world, which is also uh, impacting their mental health too. And we would encourage men to talk about it, and that's probably one of them, the uh, first things that we would say uh, and because we're so accessible as a community pharmacy on the high street we would welcome people to come and talk and then we would be able to signpost and help. Hi, I just wondering if I can have a chat with the pharmacist. Community pharmacist Bina Mehta, who works at Boots flagship store in Piccadilly Circus in central London, says her door is always open for men who are not sure where to go for help. I have a consultation room that I can take you and we can sit down and have a chat, yeah? Thank Would you, you like that? Yes, please. Yeah, please follow me this way. I definitely did see an increase in, in men coming in, speaking to um, or asking to speak to the pharmacist about several different things. It, sometimes it's not directly that they will come in and seek help. It could be because of another condition and then that will lead to another conversation. It'll open up another conversation um, which would then give us an indication that they are suffering from, um, from mental health symptoms. I would offer a safe space to the, to the patient, so that would be our consultation room, and I would, I would say to them that, would you like to come and have a chat with me? You can discuss, you can talk about how you're feeling, and we can see if there is any way we can help you. It could be um, some signposting that we can do, we can refer them to their GP, or we can refer them to our online doctor. The number of people experiencing mental health issues has surged during the pandemic and beyond. In fact, an estimated 1.6 million people are still waiting to access mental health support on the NHS for anxiety and depression. 
Boots say the introduction of its new online mental health services is just one of the ways that it continues to respond to the nation's evolving healthcare needs. I am extremely proud and privileged actually to be able to uh, represent our amazing pharmacists that have done so many things over the uh, coronavirus pandemic but also on a day-to-day -day basis make a, a significant difference in the lives of uh, tens of thousands of people that come and visit our pharmacies on a, on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, they do amazing work and uh, I have a privileged position to see that impact in the communities that they serve.